Hi there, Poppin' PJ here. And I'm going to show you how to do a rubbed stain on an already stained furniture piece. So we're gonna do it like this. First thing I did was sand thrift store find, as you can see here, it has been sanded. And now I'm going to be applying a black stain to the table. And I am applying the stain in the direction of the grain. So it is very important um, when you are staining a piece of furniture to make sure that you remove the varnish or polyurethane type coating so that the stain will adhere to the piece. And I'm not trying to stain where you can see the grain, but rather to give it a nice coating of the black. And making sure to get the edges. So I have now flipped the piece over so I can make sure to get any spots I missed. And in the crevices uh, where the feet are, I am using a paintbrush to make sure to get in all of those spots. Although I do love being in my garage, I sure do love it when the weather is nice and I can do a lot of this outside. I had to go get more black stain. I'm so excited, look at it. And although this piece looks great just being stained black, I am going to do something very unique and do another color of stain on top of the table using a rubbing technique. I'm so excited because this is my favorite part. So next I have put the blue stain that I have chosen into a syringe and we'll be putting very small drops onto the table and rubbing it with the heel of my hand. I think this is the best part and the most gratifying part because you um, can see the transformation and it's just rubbing it in to the table, getting the look that you so desire. It is very important to know that a small drop goes a long way. I'm so excited. Look how cool it looks. I just love it. Another PJ's Garage Creation.